In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enjoy a creative day working with Lego bricks. As a Lego YouTuber, my everyday life is basically filled with Lego bricks. I come to my office with Lego minifigure on my keychain, but I still need a way to remind me not forgetting the key. So I built this Mario water pipe, and Mario jumps out of it at once I put the key onto the hook. I can't work without some uplifting music, and it is always better to share music with others. So I built a live concert for my minifigures. Seems they're enjoying the vibe. Yeah, I'm feeling very efficient now. When I check the calendar, a friend of mine is having her birthday on Wednesday. Since she is a big fan of Pokemon, I decided to build something of Pokemon style with Lego bricks, just like this ghastly. And she needs a humidifier, so I made a design of combining the appearance of ghastly with functionality of a humidifier. A humidifier generates micro water droplets, so I could use an ultrasonic diaphragm with a sponge stick soaked with water, and by vibration, the water will be dispersed into the air. Now, done with the design, I decided to get a cup of coffee, but not that kind of regular coffee. I have an elf as my barista, and the Lego cafe has so many elements. It has a mini gumball machine, and we have Moana and Hoody as the guests. The cashier sells pastries and the barista comes to work on a coffee UFO. This is a strange combination, but what's stranger is that I want a vacation island on the top of my cafe. Because I just got this Lego set and I need to find a place for it. It is called Ray the Castaway, which reminds me of Robinson Crusoe. Now let's do some speed building. Hello Ray, I don't want you to be alone, so welcome to my cafe. Now I have a coffee maker in shape of full-sized Lego cafe and a vacation island. Now it's time for my coffee. This is also a functional coffee maker made out of Lego bricks. There are two dispensers on it. The first one is the coffee. And whenever you are satisfied with the amount, you could switch to the other one of milk. More milk gives you a cup of coffee latte. If you want some ice, Ask Ray for help and he will slide the ice directly into the cup. And don't ask me how he gets ice on Tropic Island. Actually, it tastes pretty mm. good. In fact, there are two bottles that contain coffee and milk in the back. And I use a Lego air pump to make it functional. And a Lego valve is used to distribute coffee and milk as the switch. Getting back to work. According to my plan, I'm building a ghastly sphere with Lego bricks. But it took longer than I expected since Lego bricks are square shaped. I also need to reserve a hole at the back for the humidifier and a gap in the middle to let water droplets out of the sphere. Now, let's see how it looks like after putting its size on. When comparing to the appearances, I'm pretty satisfied with the sphere that I made, and the space should be enough for the humidifiers. Next job is to motorize it, and I will leave it to the afternoon. I'm eating sushi for lunch, but do you know conveyor belt sushi? I want to have it that way because I've got a friend with it, so this will help us get sushi automatically. So I built a Lego train which every carriage has a rotating disc on the top so I can put sushi on it. Connect the carriages and guide them to the rail. Now they're ready for sushi. My favorite is salmon, but I also prepared shrimp, surf clam, and eel. I didn't test the train before. I wish it could work with sushi on it. Wow, I'm surprised it actually works without having a glitch. I was worried that rotation would throw away sushi, but now they seem to be nice and steady on the train. Theoretically, I could attach as many carriages as I want. My friend loves shrimp, and I'm getting the salmon. Also, I'm using Lego axles as chopsticks. <laughs> well, Lego chopsticks are not easy to use, and catching a moving sushi makes it more difficult. Let me try again. Fine. Anyways, we had a great lunch. This Titanic is a perfect holder for my chopsticks. Let me finish another cup of coffee and ignore the fact that I'm running out of paper tissue. Can't ask for more from a Lego servant. Without help of the servant, I need to wash the cup on my own with a sponge. But where to place it? It is wet. It's easy to me because I designed the Lego SpongeBob SquarePants, and I could place the sponge on it, making it just like the real thing. As for Ghastly, my plan is to make it move up and down, just like it's floating in the air. 
I used a worm drive to slow the motor down and I used a camshaft mechanism to make it move as I planned. Let's assemble the mechanism to the ghastly sphere and test if it could hold the weight of these Lego bricks. Great, it looks fine for now. Lego is great for cubic designs and its robot said Mindstorm can even solve Rubik's Cube. I'm not good at it, so whenever I have trouble solving it, I will leave it to my Lego robot. Once the sensor is done detecting the colors of all six faces, it will start to solve it immediately, no matter how complicated it is. It always gets you the right solution. From the aspect of a guy without this talent, I'd say Lego is smarter than me. Now I want to play some cards with my friends, but first we need to shuffle the cards. Since my principle is to make Lego do as many things as possible, I designed a card shuffling machine. Just put in the cards and wait. Let it cook. Great! It occasionally dispensed the two cards at once, but I'd say it's good enough. But there are more. I even made a LEGO card dispenser, and it automatically distributes cards to the players. And I can set any number of players, say I have 4 people, then it will give out one card once every 90 degrees. If there are 6 people, it will be once every 60 degrees. In this case, you don't have to wait for people when they leave for restroom or someone who draws cards slowly. The sun is getting really low. Before finishing the ghastly, let me get a gumball from my Lego gumball machine. You must put in a quarter to get a gumball. I submitted this design to Lego Ideas website. If you like it, go hit a support for me. Now, this is the ultrasonic diaphragm. Once it's on, you can link a wet sponge to it and the water inside will be vibrated at a high speed and eventually it's spread through the air in the form of tiny water droplets. This whole thing is controlled by a circuit board that I can put it outside the sphere. With one diaphragm, it generates limited humidity, but soon I will put two. In the dark, it looks awesome! Let me turn it on. With the purple lighting and gentle airflow, this ghastly humidifier is just like the enemy turning into reality. This appearance and movement is fully LEGO based, and basically you can magnify it as big as you like. I can't wait to give this special gift to my friend. Do you think if she likes it? Well, what a long day. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe.